Honduras is a country in Central America that is often overlooked by tourists because of its reputation of being dangerous. I spent around seven days here, including New Year's Eve, and I can tell you that it boasts lush mountains, incredible wildlife, Mayan ruins, and also beautiful beaches. You will not find a lot of other tourists here, except for in a few places, but in my opinion it's definitely worth visiting, and in this video I'm going to show you why. Copan is a small and pretty town in the west of Honduras, right next to the border of Guatemala. The town center is picturesque, quiet and full of history. To get to Copan, I took a shuttle from Antigua, Guatemala that left very early at 3 in the morning and dropped me off in Copan at 11 a.m. The main reason people come to Copan are the Mayan ruins that are some of the most important ones in all of Central America and considered a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. From the town center, it's about a 10 minute walk on foot to get to the entrance, but you could also take a tuk-tuk for more convenience. Now you can buy a ticket for only the ruins or a combined ticket for the ruins, the tunnels and the museum. I would recommend you to visit all three, but if you only have the time to visit the ruins, that's also perfectly fine. One thing in Copan that you should definitely check out are the colorful macaws that you find everywhere in the park. They are not shy, so if you are not paying attention, they will fly right by you. San Pedro Sula is probably the least tourist destination that I've ever visited in Central America. It still has a reputation of being quite dangerous and while it's still not completely safe, it improved a lot and is now home to many restaurants and cafes. I went through San Pedro Sula on my way from Copan to the Bay Islands and decided to stay one night and give it a visit. Having the biggest airport in the country and one of the largest in Central America, there's a good chance that you might arrive here as well, so spending a few hours there is definitely worth it. The 
Bay Islands definitely are one of the most popular destinations in all of Central America, with some of the most beautiful beaches and clear waters that you can see. You can either fly into the International Airport in Roatan, or take a two-hour ferry from the Seba on mainland Honduras. It can get quite bumpy on the ferry, so if you easily get seasick, it definitely makes sense to take some medicine with you. The two most visited islands of the Bay Islands are Ruatan and Utila. Whereas Ruatan is larger and more built up, and Utila has more of a backpacker vibe. I stayed in West End and Ruatan, where you have a lot of restaurants and hotels. However, there are many beaches in West End. But what you can do is take a water taxi from the pier to get to the most beautiful beach on the island, which is going to be in West Bay. It takes around 10 minutes, and depending on your negotiation skills, it doesn't cost too much. Due to the timing of my visit to Honduras, I decided to spend New Year's Eve on the island. I went down to the shore in West End and watched the fireworks from the pier. It's definitely a different experience to watch these fireworks on a Caribbean island than from home in Germany. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, so please leave a like, ask me anything in the comments, and if you want, please feel free to subscribe. See you next time.